जय हिंद चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एस ओ एस स्टडी पॉइंट स्टूडेंट टूडे आई एम हियर विथ अ वेरी न्यू टॉपिक फ्रॉम योर बी हाई बुक ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ द रोड नॉट टेक इन दिस इज़ अ पोएम दिस इज़ अ फर्स्ट पोएम फ्रॉम योर बुक बी हाइव सो लेट्स सी अबाउट द थीम ऑफ दिस पोएम एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड सम ऑफ द अदर फैक्ट्स रिलेटेड विद दिस पोएम Now, student, you can see on your screen this figure, and you can just uh, imagine how this road is diverged in two way. So, this poem, the road not taken. Actually, this poem is just composed by Robert Frost. This is not the full name of this writer, this poet. Let us see what is the sum of the facts of the poet. Now, student, you can see on your screen the facts related with the life of Robert Frost. First thing, the full name of this poet is Robert Lee Frost, who's who born on the date of on the date of twenty six March, eighteen seventy one, and death on dated twenty nine January nineteen sixty three. was an american poet yes this is right robert lee frost was an american poet his work was initially published in england before it was published in america so first uh, firstly his work just published in england after that in america he is known for his realistic depiction of rural life actually he just uh, showing here the realistic depiction realistic of rural life and his command of american colloquial speech frost frequently wrote about setting from rural life in new england in the early 20th century using them to examine complex social and philosophical theme so this was the thing this was the element which is used by robert lee frost in his all poems now first was honored frequently during the lifetime and he is the only poet to receive four pulitzer prize for poetry yeah this is very honorable prize for uh, robert lee frost he became one of america's rare public literary figures almost an artistic institution He was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 1960 for his poetic. So he was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 1960 for his poetic works. On July 22nd, 1961, Frost was Frost was named Poet Laureate of Vermont. So, student, this was the. some fact these are the some facts related with the life of author the poet robert lee frost then let us see again next thing the poem so this is the poem student this poem in the four uh, in the four stanza and we can see here first thing the rhyming pattern when we see this one just like how can i just uh, recognize the rhyming pattern let us see first thing you have to do here this is the last word just underline the last word of each line of one stanza so student you can see here and would this have a sound a both this is different wood is related with the sound of stood this is also known as a wood stood and could the, it is also have same similar sound of wood and uh, both is related with, uh, related with growth means the sound of both word and the sound of under growth word these are similar so we can say here this is b and this is also b so the rhyming pattern of this stanza is a b a 
A B. This is the rhyming pattern of this poem. So, student, as you can see here, this is the rhyming pattern A B A A B. But I just want to tell you important things. What is the significance of the title? What is the theme of the poem? And what is the summary of the poem? We will see all these things in this video. Next. the introduction of the poem it means what we can find out in this poem in this poem you can just find out here the poem the road not taken in this poem the road symbolizes our life the poet sees that the path the path that we don't choose in our life is the road not taken yes this is the meaning This is the actual meaning of this title the road not taken. The poet says that the path that we don't choose in our life is the road not taken. It means which the way suppose your life is just full of dilemmas full of controversy full of just a confusion but if you have to choose one way you you just have a two way but you have to choose only one so the way which you will not choose that is called the road not taken the poet says that the path that we don't choose in our life is the road not taken he describes his feeling about the choice <coughs> sorry that he had left means here he describes his feelings about the choice that he had left in the past So in this poem poet just describe about his choice that he had left in his past time the path which we have chosen decides our future means whatever you will just choose in your life the path you have chosen in your life that can decide your future your destination the important message that the poet want to give is that the choice that we make has an impact on our future and it we make if we make a wrong choice we regret it but cannot go back on it so we must be wise while making choice so it means you should always be a very wise person while choosing a way while choosing a path while choosing a choice so next one is theme this one we can see here this theme what is the actual theme of this poem let us see now in this poem you can see as it is mentioned here the lines the road not taken is more than a poem about someone try to decide which road he is going to take on a stroll through the woods it is a poem about the journey of life It is a poem about the journey of life the two roots diverge in a yellow wood forest symbolizing a person's life the narrator's choice about which road to take represent the different decision we sometimes must make and how those decision will affect the future think of the expression down the road that we often used to describe something that might happen moments happen months or even years from now and you will see how frost is making the connection between life and traveling so student as it is mentioned here in this uh, lines so poet just want to tell you that in this poem the divergent road two divergent road is just showing the reality of life in the life of a person just have if, if they have a two choice then they just choose a correct way correct then the, then he just uh, have to take a correct way have a correct decision so if he will choose correct decision then it will be beneficial for him his future will be bright but suppose if he just choose a wrong way wrong path wrong just take a wrong decision then he has just only regret he 
he have only one choice only regret that time he will never came he will never come back on the point from where he just started his life so this is very important so be serious be very wise to choose your choice in your life think of the expression down the road it means describe something that might happen months or even years from now and you will see how foot is first is making the connection between life and traveling so in this poem you can see the you see these things how the first is just uh, relating and connecting between life and traveling first captures the uncertainty about making decision our natural desire to know the what will happen because of the decision we make is in the first stanza of the poem it means student you can see here in the very first stanza what is just showing by the poet two roads diverse in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the under growth so according to this poem according to this stanza poet just want to relate i mean to see just uh, connecting the life and traveling because he just want to be a traveler he just want to be a one traveler but he can't take two route at a time that is why he was just telling that he was just regretting he was just feeling sad and saying that sorry i could not travel both that is why he have to take only one way not to take two way so he have to just uh, leave one way just now now let us see the next thing here first uses the bend in the road as a metaphor for what the narrator wishes he could see but ultimately can't make out in the undergrowth the narrator eventually decides to take the other road because it really does not matter whichever path he chooses he has no way of knowing where he is going to end up the only difference between the two routes is that the one the narrator chooses in the second stanza is grassy and wanted we are in other words it doesn't look like an anyone's taken it before or in a long time at this point in the poem first tries to encourage readers to overcome the fear of the unknown someone must be the first person to try a new thing so student this is the theme of this poem now but let us see the uh, let us see the things which the poet want to tell in details so this is very first stanza i i want to just explain with the help of this uh, these lines two roads diverge in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and look down one as far as i could to where it paint in the under the divorce i mean so i mean to see divorce means separated and took a different direction yellow wood it is just denoting the forest now next one is under growth it means dense growth of plant and bushes means the forest so now student you can see here the poet want to tell us that once the poet was walking down a road then there was a diversion there were two different path and he had no he had to choose one out of them the poet says that as he was one person as he was one traveler he could travel on one road only he can't travel on both at a time he had to choose one out of these two roads yellow wood means a forest with leaf which are wearing out and they have turned yellow in color the season of autumn it means the color of the yellow is just denoting here the season of autumn it represents a world which is full of people where people have been living for many years 
they represent people who are older than the poet. The poet kept standing there and looked at the path very carefully as far as he could see it. Before taking the path, he wanted to know how it was. So this is very important if you are just going to choose your decision, sorry, this is uh, very important if you are just going to choose your path and if you are just going to take your decision, just, just think before it and just think about your way, about your future, about your path, about your everything, whatever you are just going to do that time. Was it suitable for him or not? It means you should think about that, th uh, that uh, things. Is it good for you or not? He was able to see the path till from where it curved after which is which was covered with trees. So as it is mentioned here, he was able to see the path till from where it curved after which is which uh, which it was covered with trees and was hidden. It happens in our life also when we have choices we have alternatives but we have to choose only one out of them. We take time to think about the pros and cons. It means if you are just going to take any decision just think before it what is good for you or what is good and bad for you. What will be the result of your decision so uh, everything sh you should think before that whether it is suitable for us or not and only then we take our decision on what path we should choose. Now student this was the stanza and overall in, the, in this stanza the poet want to tell you that if you are just going to take any decision and if you are going to take any way then you have to think before take that because if you just take a wrong decision and wrong way then you will be uh, regret after just taking a decision or taking a way so if you if you just want to uh, want benefit with uh, benefit and also just want to go on the right way then you should think before just taking your decision now this is the second stanza what is the second stanza student let us see then took the other just as fear and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and grassy and wanted view though, though as for the passing there had warned them really about the sin fear it means as good as the other one claim better option grassy unused wanted wear had not been used it means in this poem the poet wa uh, want to tell you that the poet kept on looking at one path for a long time to check what to check if it is the right path for him or not and then he decided and then he decided and started walking on another path because he felt that the both paths were equally good it means he was just looking that uh, path and he was just imagine that every path was looking good but he was just thinking one uh, which one is good or which one is bad he sees just as fear so as he felt that both paths were equally good and started walking on one of them he adds that maybe he felt that the path was better for him so he chooses it as it had grass on it means uh, it uh, on it which means that it was unused so this is not compulsory that that uh, there was a grassy way it means it is not used for a long time so here grassy way it means uh, it is just denoting here that way which was very grassy that was not used just before uh, some time not many people had walked on this path earlier that is why this path was grassy this is the meaning of the grassy path and wanted wear means that it was not walked over by many people. After he walked on the path for some distance, he realized that both the paths had been worn out the same way. Both the paths were similar and worn out. Even in our life, we take any path or option, but all of them have the same benefit, disadvantages, problems, challenges and we must face them. 
we think that we are choosing a better option but it is not that way so student on the basis of this stanza this is the explanation now is the next third stanza and both that morning equally lay in leaves no stiff had trod in black trodden means walked over oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how we leads on to we i doubt it if i should ever come back so now on the basis of this stanza the poet want to tell us that the poet sees that the poet sees that both the paths were similar that morning yes this is reality both the paths were similar on that morning but had leaves on them and no one had stepped on them as they were still green in color he decided that that the that day he would take one path and keep the other path for another day so this thing just come in the mind of the poet he has decided that time that he would take one path one day and keep the other for another day although he knew that one way leads on to the other way he knew that he could not go back on the choice that he had made it means this is not possible if you just take in a decision and if you are just going on that uh, on your decision and between the way between the way and i mean to say just before completing the way if you just want to come back then it is not possible to come back suppose if you have taken decision to do some work and just before finishing if you want to come back so this is not possible to come back on the initial point so this is very important things similarly even in our life once we choose an option we must keep on moving ahead with that option and we never get a chance to come back and take the other option that we had left earlier so student on the basis of this stanza this was the explanation let us move move the last stanza this is the last stanza student let us see i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roots diverge in a wood and i took and i i took that the one least traveled by and that has made all the differences shy shy means deep breath hence means in the future now here the poet want to tell us that in the future he will take a deep breath and see that once upon a time he had reached such a point in life that there were two options for him and he traveled on that road which had been traveled upon by lesser number of people that decision of his decided his future it means that decision of his just decided his future similarly in future when you grow up then you will see that once once upon a time when you were young you had to do option so i'm just repeating this line again similarly in future when you grow up then you will see that once upon a time when you were young you had two options it, uh, so here the choice that you made that you made made you what you become of it this is a very strong message for all the students that you should be wise and be careful while making choices out of the options that you have in your life because your future depends on the choice that you make today so student on the basis of this stanza and also all the on, on the basis of your all stanzas i mean to say four stanzas poet here want to tell you that if you are just uh, taking a decision and making a making your future and also if you are just going uh, going to take decision so just be wise be careful be serious about your choice if you will take wrong decision then it will it will be very harmful for you so just take right decision that cannot be changed in the future so i think you should take right decision that uh, that never need to be changed in future 
now i'm just i'm just going to tell you this with the help of this slide this is very important things of this poem rhyming scheme first thing but all these things are called as literary devices used in the poem so this is very important thing literary devices used in the poem first thing rhyme, rhyming scheme as a uh, scheme I, as i told you the rhyming scheme is a b a a b symbolism what is symbolizes here two roots two root just symbolizes here two or more choices in our life anaphora anaphora and repeated at the beginning of the lines 2 3 and 4 it means the same word which is just repeating just coming at the beginning of the line just that is called anaphora just like you can see and word in the very beginning letter in beginning word which comes in the line 2 3 and 4 this is called anaphora alliteration it means wanted wear it means w sound is just repeating again and again wanted and wear first for f sound is just repeating through that do that it means th sound is repeating that is called alliteration and repetition is 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 repeated is is and is is two roots diverse in a word this sentence is repeating in stanza 1 and 4 also so this is called repetition but one thing more this is for you this is for your task just find out the figure of speech metaphor in the poem meta for metaphor so student i just told you these things literary devices used in the poem but it is for your task this is for your task to find out the metaphor figure of a figure of a speech and other figure of a speech in this poem so this was the thing thank you for watching this video and have a nice day student and i hope all of you are well in this in this covid 19 pandemic situation and you will study at home with the help of my youtube video so uh, just uh, do not forget this please subscribe and like my video and just watch again and again to understand the story of this poem thank you have a nice day student jai hind jai bharat